Till again for a Infinity University with another video to help you along on your battery journey. Today we're going to discuss how to do battery add-ons, more specifically with the 3.2. Everyone loves and adores this battery, it's been out for a while, uh, and there's quite a few systems out there that do want to increase their capacity and to help you do that today. How we're going to do this is quite simple, but we need to make sure that the new battery that you're getting and the figures that you would be working with would be around 55-60% SOC and the voltage would be around 52.5-53 volts in the battery when you take it out of the box. So we need to make sure that your new system, so your existing system that you're adding this battery to matches this current battery. There's two ways that we need to do this. One is we put the dongle in the new battery, connect it locally to get the actual figures of what this battery has. We then need to go onto the inverter and put this either into a charge or a discharge to make sure it's getting to the value of the new battery. Once it's hit that, those numbers, we can't simply just turn everything off, attach it and then walk away. So we have to allow the battery to sit in an idle state to allow the voltages to be equalised within all the cells. So once that's happened after a couple of minutes, we turn the system off, we can attach the battery. The second step is, this new primary battery, and I've used the word primary, should go as number one. Now this is wherever possible. You do realise that sometimes space can be a bit of a, a pain in the backside, so it can go in the stack as well if needs be, but just to make it all aware, because it's got the new firmware, it means this would actually be the best battery to have as number one to actually control the whole system. It also allows us a lot more um, scope for changing things and more should anything happen future. So wherever you can, it's essential that this becomes the new number one battery. Change the dip switches, change the dip switches on the current batteries while they're in the off state. When you turn everything back on, and this is going down to the station, everything will go on your um, platform as the correct address. You can check on the battery on the screen uh, as a visual guide to make sure that the uh, dots that you've got in the front match. But again, like what I said, it's not an exact science, so you will need to go into each individual battery to make sure what all the values are. I do need to point out, and it's quite important, that if you don't follow this guideline and you just walk up to a site, uh, turn everything off, put your battery on, carry it on, get it online, walk away, you haven't followed the correct procedure. We can find this data on the inverter to see if you've actually followed the guidance we've given you and it's not covered under your manufacturer warranty. This would then become an installation error if you haven't followed the guidance, so you will be liable to actually fix the problem yourself. So if you have any questions in relation to what I've gone through today, please do get in contact. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something here um, and we'll see you again on the next one. Thanks very much for watching.